I don't normally do rant videos, but this just kind of stuck in my crawl. I've been listening on the radio about people belly aching about interest rates for college loans going up, and I just don't know where the heck these people are going or what they're expecting to get out of their college education. When would did we decide as a country, and it's all marketing from higher education institutions, I'm sure, but not everybody's college material. And my parents didn't pay for my college education to start with. My mom gave me a few hundred bucks towards the end there when I was getting ready to graduate. But I funded, you know, 99.9% .9 of, of my college education, living expenses included. And here's how I did it. Um, in 1998, I got out of the Navy, took my GI Bill, and I went to the community college. If if you think that's an easy thing to do, by all means, uh, uh, please, please, I'd be honored if you would join the military and earn your college degree that way, your, your college tuition that way. Um, so don't give me any crap because I got my tuition money from the military. Um, but it was fifty dollars a credit hour. Sixty credits gives you an associate's, so that was three thousand bucks thereabout. I went to Old Dominion University for two years for one hundred fifty dollars a credit hour, and that came out to nine uh, nine thousand dollars. And the total tuition for four years of college back then was twelve thousand um, dollars, and I lived on about twenty two thousand dollars a year because that's what my wife was bringing home as a as a school teacher. So, if if you want to count four years of living expenses at eight eighty eight thousand dollars, that you know, but I'm just comparing apples to apples here. Just the tuition alone is you know maybe add a thousand bucks for books, so thirteen thousand dollars. If you did the same thing today, you went to Tidewater Community College where I went. It's one hundred forty six dollars a credit hour. Um, two years will cost you eighty seven hundred dollars. Went to Old Dominion. They jacked it up to 271 because they got a football team now. Uh, 271 a credit hour. That's sixteen thousand dollars for two years. Um, you'll get out for twenty five thousand dollars. Now, understandably, if if you know you, you lived in a dorm or something like that, but for the most part, there are colleges that where you can live at home with your parents because you're probably mooching off of them anyway. Um, and you don't have to pay room and board so that you know that there is all you're out for four years you can that's a car payment uh, so now uh, in Texas if you went to community college it's $88 a credit hour at the the community college in Houston um, $5,200 for your associates and then University of Houston very well respected college uh, two years it cost you sixteen eight, and you'll get out for twenty two thousand eighty. You know, college education is is a car payment. I don't know what people are belly aching about, uh, unless you just gotta go to that name brand school, and then you know you get what you pay for, or, or you pay for the name. Because I guarantee you. Uh, I went to college with a lot of people that went to name brand schools that didn't make any more than I did. Um, so if you went to four years of community uh, of Old Dominion without going to community college, it's thirty two thousand, not bad. It's, you know, it's a high end car. Uh, University of Houston, four years of that, thirty three thousand. Texas A and M, a very well respected college. Um, you know, nobody's going to turn their nose up at, at Texas A and M, thirty three thousand six. Indiana University, another good college, thirty-eight thousand. Now, if you go crazy and you want to go to Notre Dame, it's twenty-four thousand for one year. And you know what? I did work with people from Notre Dame that worked at Notre Dame, and they they didn't, weren't getting promoted any faster or making any more money than me. Uh, you know, and, and I'm just a schmuck that went to community college. So think twice before you got to have that name brand school because uh you know especially if mommy and daddy are gonna pay for it yeah but if, if you think you gotta go there to to make a good living uh, that's a fallacy I'll, I'll tell you right now you 
you can make a good living and I'm living proof from going to community college first and and going to a well-known state or public university uh, here's here's another some other crazy numbers Carnegie Mellon Pennsylvania forty four thousand dollars a year hundred seventy nine five for for four years and then you know if, if you're you know it, that can't be right Harvard is less expensive than Carnegie Mellon <laughs> I don't know but uh, it, college doesn't have to be expensive so if you're if you are dumb enough and, and think that you're gonna make any more money or any more any faster because just think about it there are a lot more people coming into the workforce at at this amount then there are people coming out of the workforce at this amount and you're competing with these people if you if you're going here and as an employer I'm gonna pick this guy because I don't have to pay him as much so uh, you know put that in your hat <laughs> that's my rant later